Hello YouTube, this is Chuck again, and right now I'm coming to you from my dining room actually, and you can see my old helmet collection on the wall behind me, and we all have our collection of our memorabilia that we've accumulated over the years, but uh, I'd like to, this evening I'd like to uh, tell you another firefighter story, but this one is, uh, the last couple have been kind of downers, and this one is kind of a little more amusing maybe and the uh, for many years the little town that I live in uh, had a had one animal control officer and she was an older lady and her name was Bonnie and Bonnie was one of these kind of people that she was kind of abrasive and never quite seemed like she's very happy and and uh, as such, she caught a lot of flack over the years, but the uh, part of her job was to, if somebody, if there was a dead animal, like a dog or a cat or something, got hit by a car, uh, part of her job was to go and pick those up. And uh, But her job didn't extend to wildlife, and we live in the woods, and so there, there would be a fair share of, of wild animals that would get hit by cars as well. And uh, that was the responsibility of the Game and Fish Department to go and get rid of those. And, uh, and of course, if it's something large, like a deer or an elk or a cow or something like that, then the various uh, public works people would have to kind of get together and figure out how to haul those off. And so, but anyway, uh, Bonnie's job was to pick up dogs and cats. And, and uh, well, one thing that she, there was two things that really, really, really aggravated Bonnie. And one of them was when somebody referred to her as the dog catcher, or to her as the dog catcher. Oh, she hated that. And she would correct him that she was, she was the animal control officer. She wasn't the dog catcher. And, and of course, you know, people would call her that just to aggravate her. And, and, uh, the other thing that, that would aggravate her, of course, was uh, when somebody would call in th that a cat got hit and she'd get over there and find out it was a skunk. And, of course, we'd, uh, if we saw a skunk somewhere that got hit, uh, we'd report it that it was a cat. And Bonnie would go over there and find out that it was a skunk, and and she'd get pretty irate. You know, she'd rant and rave about how the dumb firemen can't tell the difference between a cat and a skunk, and and yeah, yeah, we could. Uh, so then uh, she worked actually out of the police station, and and so she'd leave her truck over there when she wasn't working, and and uh, somewhere along the line, and I'm pretty sure it was probably the police officers that uh, like to aggravate her just like we did. And so if they found a skunk somewhere, they'd just go get it and put it in the back of her truck. And oh, I don't know how many times she would be all upset because somebody put a skunk in her truck and she wasn't responsible for skunks. And uh, But my favorite Bonnie story that I have to tell you is that uh, uh, we got dispatched one day to assist animal control with a horse in a tree. And of course, as we got ready to leave the station, we kind of looked at each other and said, well, this might be interesting. And then we got over there and what had happened was a, a horse had laid down in the dusty, a dusty spot to take a dust bath. And in the process, he rolled over and he managed to get his feet tangled up in a bush. It wasn't really a tree and he wasn't up in a tree. He was laying on his side and he had his feet tangled up in this bush and he'd struggled a little bit and he'd skinned himself up a bit and then the horses being horses he just laid there and well the owner came out and found him and, call, and called animal control and bonnie went over there and and uh, so she called for assistance and we showed up and she met me at the at the curb and so she's starting to give me this great detail about what we're going to have to do to rescue this horse and uh, well i mean she was all ready to to call a veterinarian to come and and sedate the horse so that we could run a chainsaw 
and all this stuff and, and uh, that we might have to come in with some kind of a crane and a sling and pick the horse up because the horse was too weak to stand. Uh, anyway, she had a pretty big production and, and, and she had it all figured out what we were going to do. Well, while she, was, while she was explaining this all to me in great detail, a couple of my burly firefighters walked around behind her and one got in front of the horse and one got behind the horse. And they basically just picked it up, one on the front legs, one on the back legs, and they kind of worked it through the bush and they rolled it all the way back over till it was facing on the other side. And the horse immediately stood up and shook off the dust and walked away. Well, Bonnie, uh, you know, when she heard that, she turned around and she looked and she stood there with her mouth open. And for once in her life, Bonnie was speechless. And that didn't happen very often. <laughs> So it turned out the horse was none the worse for the wear and, and none of everything that Bonnie had all figured out, none of that had to happen. And just a couple of young burly firefighters just rolled the horse back over and the horse got up and walked away. And uh, we laughed about that for the longest time. And of course, you know, Bonnie didn't like to be reminded of that. But, you know, after many, many years, Bonnie retired and she's probably gone to the next world by now. I don't know what happened to her, but... Uh, just thought you might be interested in a funny firefighter story from way back and the, uh, a time when, you know, things were a little simpler and firefighter pranksters and police and police officer pranksters and stuff kind of, kind of had a little bit of fun at, at Bonnie's expense. And so with that one, uh, we'll, we'll let you go for now and thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like. Uh, check out my community page. I'm trying to post something there most every day. And uh, so love each other. Take care of each other. Uh, be good to each other. Enjoy life. Life is wonderful. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.